Hey guys, Ruhio here with not of it for Blender. This one's gonna be all about hard ups. We are in Blender 3.0 Alpha, which was recently announced, and hard ups and bugs cutter as usual uh, are supporting the alpha version. Just a few days after you know the alpha release, bugs cutter and hard ups just dropped, and we got support for alpha. Make sure you're gonna download it and have fun with it. Cool, cool options. But I want to talk about today about a menu in hard ups that's just brilliant. Okay, now. Usually what I do when I, I'm just going to add some stuff to the cube, okay, uh, when I'm talking. Uh, usually when I, when I work with, uh, you know, with hard ups and I'm doing something, I, I mostly use the uh, control tilde menu uh, because control tilde menu is simply, um, you know, quite robust and gives me literally anything I need in terms of information. So if I need to change something with, I don't know, my bevels or bullions or whatever, you know, it's just everything I need, it's there, okay? So if I went to, for example, control tilde here and went to, you know, this wrench, I can see all the modifiers with all the options. But to be honest, most of the time, I don't really need these options, okay? I don't need all these options in bevels. Usually what I do is I change the, you know, the bevel size, etc. Okay, so I don't need all this info. So there's a really cool menu out there, okay? And it's Shift-Alt-B, Shift-Alt-B, okay? So if you press Shift-Alt-B, you have access to bevels, uh, okay? Or booleans, or both. Now, the cool thing about this menu is that it supports more than one element, okay? So if I have, for example, two models, I can click and Shift-Select them. Shift-Alt-B, boom. I got cube and cube 001, okay? This menu is really concise, guys, so you just have the most important information. So if you focus on bevels, for example, you can change the bevel size. You can click on these buttons here and sort of multiply or just divide it to the bevel size, which is really quick. You can select presets in here of the bevel size as well if you want to. And you got the segments, you know, one, three, four, six. I wish we had, uh, for example, nine as well instead of 12 uh, because i think it'll be better but there you go and then you can even add custom bevel if you want to so that's pretty cool now uh, and in in terms of booleans okay in terms of booleans which you can do it's really cool so let me just collapse the bevels for a sec you can show them all all right so you can show all the bevels on one object which is awesome uh, because you know normally when you work on an object on on the model you have a lot of objects with a lot of booleans you need to go alt h to you know show all the all the booleans and it's just too many you don't need them you need stuff on one object so the way to go about it would be to simply go to let me hide them right go to hard ups and then uh, hold control and when you hold control you click on these dots right uh, and you can un uh, you know kind of enable all the booleans if you want to but it just takes a lot of time right so quicker way here is to go to shift alt b and simply you know show all boom and you get all the booleans right that's brilliant another cool feature in this menu is that you can change between fast and exact on all booleans at the same time this is really cool because um quite often when you work with a complex geo and you have bevels uh, i mean you have booleans running through a set of edges and they sort of overlap you might have some Z fighting or simply the boolean or the object disappears. There's a lot of cases, you know, I have questions like, dude, I'm booleaning my object, but it disappears. Well, the reason mostly is because you have overlapping edges or faces between the boolean and object, okay? And this setting here between, you know, this switch here between fast and exact usually so solves the issue. A fast boolean is, you know, uh, the traditional one, and exact is a bit more memory heavy, but it usually solves the problem with, you know, like I said, the main object disappearing or some Z fighting, whatnot, right? And then you can manually disable the visibility of, of, the, of the cutters, right? So this is really cool. Um, I think it's a brilliant menu. It's not as detailed as the control tilde menu, but, you know, quite frankly, once you add modifiers and set them up, you don't really need to, all this info and the data. All you need to do is just simply readjust a few things and shift alt b is just genius. You know, that's, that's a really fast and very, a very useful menu. Okay, guys, that's it. Uh, links to hard ups and box cutter in the video description. So if you don't have these add-ons, get them because they're bloody amazing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did. And I'll catch you in the next video.